Hey guys, Dave here from Battery Dude LLC. I got one of my uh, photon hoops with me today, and I'm going to show you how the main menu and the controls on the hoop work. So, all the controls are handled by a five way directional switch on the hoop. It's a little joystick type switch there. You can press it up, down, left, right, and it has a center select. Um, so, those five directions there are going to move you through the menu. Up and down will take you through the banks, left and right will take you through the settings, and select will enter and exit settings. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on, start up in the main menu. The hoop's always going to look like this when you turn it on. Right now we're in bank one on setting one. And we know this because the hoop's red and we have one LED here on the right. Those are the two bank indicators. Um, as you move through banks, the hoop will change color and more LEDs will appear here on the right. Um, as you move through settings, left and right, more LEDs on the left here will appear. That lets you know what setting you're on. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm just going to move through the banks a bit by pressing up. So you can see the hoop changes color. We get some LEDs down here. Right now we're on the fifth bank. Six, seventh, eighth, nine, ten. This move you through all 19 banks. Um, pressing the switch down will take you back a bank. So I'm just going to go ahead and move back to bank one and move through some settings. Pressing right will take you up one setting, left will take you down one. So you might have noticed that there's some yellow LEDs here. Those are same as the white ones. We just added a yellow one every five to make um, make it a little easier on the eyes, easier to count. Once you get up to the 16th, 17th setting, it can be hard to keep track of where you are. So those are just a cosmetic thing. Um, go ahead and move back a little. I'm on the 10th setting now, and I'm going to go ahead and enter. So pressing select will play the mode. Um, it'll just keep playing the same mode until you press select again, and that will take you back to the menu. I'm going to go ahead and show you um, our lock switch function. <clears throat> We've heard a lot of people talk about bumping the switch while they're hooping and messing up performances or just being annoying. So to combat that issue, we have something that allows you to lock the joystick. So first you're going to enter a setting. Say you like the setting, you want to keep it playing. You want to make sure you don't accidentally exit. You can lock the toggle switch by holding it down for several seconds. So I'm just going to hold it down. You can see that red bar goes around the hoop. Um, now the switch is locked. You can press select all you want, up, down, left, right. It's not going to it's not going to move. The only way to leave the setting at this point will be to unlock the switch, which is done the same way locking it is done by just holding it down for several seconds. And that green bar there lets you know that it's unlocked. So now I can leave the mode and back to the menu. So each bank has 15 settings, or sorry, 17, 15 of which are modes. 16 and 17 are your two demo functions, your shuffle settings. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how those work really quickly. Right now I'm on setting 17, that's your time demo. Moving back one more, setting 16, that's your random demo. The random demo setting plays through all the modes in the bank randomly for a random amount of time. So I'll go ahead and press select. As you can see, it's just playing one of the random modes in the bank, and it'll play it anywhere from 10 to 40 seconds, I believe it is, before moving on to the next one. Um, that's your random demo. Every bank has one. There's also a random demo and time demo bank for the hoop which plays all the modes. You have a random demo and time demo in your custom bank. We pretty much put them anywhere um, we could think of just to give you, you know, as many options as you wanted. So I'm going to go ahead and exit this and move into the time demo. That's the 17th setting. When you enter the time demo, you'll notice the hoop is completely turned off with the exception of this one white LED here. Um, this represents the amount of time each mode is going to be played. The time demo will play through them linearly for an increment of time set by you. So one LED, that represents five seconds. Um, you can move the switch to the left and right to add more time. 
Oh, sorry. Go back there. And you can play the modes anywhere from five to five seconds to two and a half minutes. Each LED representing five seconds. So here um, I got 15 LEDs. That would be 75 seconds each mode would play. I don't want to do that because I want to show you. I'm going to go ahead and set it to 5. Press select. It's playing the first mode at the bank. And in 5 seconds it should move on to the next. 5 more seconds. The next. Etc. Etc. Um, aside from that, we also have a pause feature which will let you pause the mode that's playing. Um, this only works in the demo settings, obviously, but if your hoop is demoing through um, some modes and you see one you like or you just want to stop it and show somebody, you can pause the setting and keep it from moving on. And this is done by holding the switch up for several seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and hold it up. You can see the red lights kind of blink there and now the demo is paused. It'll stay on this mode forever or until you unpause it which can be done by holding the switch up for another couple of seconds. And those green lights kind of blink there, it'll now continue on. So that's your demo pause feature. Um, I'm going to go ahead and exit now. And we're going to move on to the custom bank. The custom bank is the very last bank on the hoop, number 19. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and flip back to it so you can see what it looks like. So this is it. It looks different than the normal banks, just to help distinguish it from regular ones. Right now there's not a whole lot to do here because I haven't saved any modes to it. I just wanted you guys to see what it, uh, what it looked like. I'm going to go ahead and uh, save a few modes to it, see if we can not make it a little more exciting. So the first thing you're going to want to do when saving a mode to it is to enter that mode. So I'm just going to kind of flip through here, pick a mode and enter it. Once you're in the mode, you can save it to the custom bank by holding up on the navigation switch for a couple seconds. And you'll see it kind of blink blue there, meaning the mode's been saved to the bank. So I'm going to add a few more. You can add any setting on the hoop to the custom bank. And the custom bank can hold up to 30 settings. I'm just going to save a couple. If you save more than 30 modes to the custom bank, which you can do, it'll just start to overwrite your old ones and save the new ones. Save that one. So now I got three modes in my custom bank. I'm going to add a fourth one I guess. Didn't mean to enter that. And I'm going to flip back to it now. So now you can see the LED here is a little bit brighter. That means there's a mode saved there. If I press enter it'll play the first mode I saved. And like I said, you can save up to 30. I think I have four of them here now. So not only can I access them more easily, but I can use the random demo or time demo feature in the custom bank to play through all of my favorite modes. So I'm going to flip back to the 30 second setting. You can see they're lit up, meaning there's modes there. Um, this is the time demo. Works just like the time demo in every other bank. Plays through the modes linearly for a time increment you set. So press select. You guys have seen this. Five seconds here. Press select. And it will play through the modes in my custom bank for five seconds each. So that's one of the cool things. You can save 30 of your modes and play through all of them. Um, allows you to create really unique, unique sequences of patterns and stuff. I'm going to go ahead and exit and show you guys how to erase the custom bag. Um, I already said that you can save more than 30 and it will keep overriding them. The only other way to get rid of the modes is to clear the bank because turning the hoop on and off will not get rid of the modes. Um, you have to clear it. And to do this, you're just going to want to move into your bank like I am now. And you're going to press select on the joystick and hold it. So it takes a good five, six seconds, and you'll see it blinks there. Now all the modes have been cleared. Um, you just press select like you're going to enter a mode, but you do not release it until you see it blink. And now my custom bank is empty, and I can go about saving 30 new modes to it.
Now I'm going to show you guys the solid effects bank. The solid effects bank is the second to last bank, number 18. So right now I'm in my custom bank. I'm just going to flip back a bank. And the hoop will be a rainbow, as you can see. It looks completely different from all the other banks, and that's because it is completely different. Um, before we can do anything, we have to enter the bank by pressing select. And we'll get the hoop here. It'll be red with one LED. It looks kind of like the main menu, bank number one, except there's no bank lights. We just have setting lights. And it works exactly like the menu. To flip through the colors, you just press up. There's 34 colors. To flip back through them, you press down. And there's 15 different settings that each color can be played in. Um, originally, we were just going to have a solid color bank. People kept asking, is there going to be solid colors? Is there going to be solid colors? We said yes. Um, and then after I made the solid color bank, I decided, you know, why not make it a little more exciting? We'll add settings to it. So 34 colors you can pick from, 15 different settings that um, you can play with any color. I like blue, so I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the different settings. The first one is solid, like we said we'd have. Um, second one here, it's kind of cool, rainbow one in it. And there's anti-spins, there's some point of view modes, um, you know, chaser type modes. I tried to add the coolest ones I could think of to it, so hopefully you guys enjoy them. One thing I wanted to show is that you can save modes from the color bank to your custom bank. And they will work fine. I'm just going to hold up to save this. Grab some different colors. Originally, we were only going to have the 225 complex pattern modes allowed in the custom bank, but decided, well, you know, why not let you save all of them? Okay, so now I saved two modes to my custom bank. Um, now, to get to my custom bank, I need to exit the solid color bank. To do this, you're just going to hold the switch down like you're going to enter a mode, but don't release it. And five, six seconds, you'll be back in the menu. As you can see, I'm now back on the bank from the main menu. I'm going to flip up a bank to my custom bank. And you can see my solid color modes are saved there. So any 34 colors, any 15 settings are OK to save to your custom bank, just like regular modes. Um, select to enter the bank hold select to exit, and that's pretty much it.